in the mod mockup templates using meteorites. I will show you some secret hacks that will elevate your mockup game and you can create theme based mockup bundles. This is Lilia from Bald Mockup, so let's get started. And you're going to start with the mug type. So you can type ceramic mug mug mockup. So right here is the type of the mug, the material. Then after we are going to type the color of the mug. Mug mockup fully white. Then after you're going to type in the position of the handle. So whether you want it to be right or whether you want it to be left. In this scenario, as you can see, the handle is on the right side, which shows that the mug is right in front of you. But if you want a back view of the mug, you can say to put it to put the handle on the left. So simply what you're going to do here is you're going to do you're going to type in handle position and simply say left. Now for the size of the mug, you have two different options. You can make it 15 OZ, which is the general standard size, or you can make it smaller, 11 OZ. Now in this case, I'm just going to make it 15 OZ. And then you have the option for the environments of the mug. So let's say you want the mug to be in a living room, for example, or in a kitchen. This is where you can put that. So type environments, and you can put kitchen top. Now we have season slash theme. This will give an overall vibe to the photo. So for example, if you put something like Christmas, it will put, for example, a Christmas tree behind or something. Now for the image quality, simply put any quality you want. You have 8K, 4K, HD, whatever fits the best for you. I'm just going to make it full HD. And then we have an option for the photographic style. So type in photographic style. You can put um, a lot of different options like black and white, old style, for example. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. This is for e-commerce. I'm just going to put realistic. <clears throat> and that's it for now. Now, I am going to show you later in the video uh, how to do if you want to add a human element to it. So maybe you want, for example, someone holding the cup, or maybe you want someone standing in the living room, uh, a girl with blonde hair holding the mug, uh, smiling, for example. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just a bit. But for now, click enter and it will generate the image. All right, and as you can see, it's completely done generating. And as I said before, because we have, uh, because we have asked it to make it Christmas theme, it added Christmas trees in the back. Now, of course you can remove that and put any season slash theme you want. You don't even have to make like an event like Christmas, you can make it summer, for example, and it's gonna add elements like this, like summer, like it might put you on the beach or something, or the oval, overall vibe of the photo will be summer. So maybe you're gonna see some light pass through the windows in the back. But since this is Christmas, there is no sunlight right now because sun because Christmas is well usually in the winter. Now if you want to add a human element to it, let's just continue with the sim prompt templates that we were using and then at the end of the prompt simply add a human human element. Then you are going to describe what you want. So you can say blonde hair woman holding the mug smiling. And that is it. Just click enter. All right. And as you can see, it's completely done generating. Now, of course, you can add more details. You can say to make her have like a blue sweater, for example. You can change everything up to customize it. Now let's go to the bonus part. The first thing is to simply go on Etsy and take a look at photos that you like. Take a look at the mock-up that you like. So for example, you might like this. 
you might like the vibe of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click and then you are going to save image. All right, and now you're going to come onto Discord and instead of doing slash imagine like you would usually do, you are going to do slash describe image and you are going to drag and drop the image that we've just downloaded from Epsi. And what this is basically going to do is it will generate a prompt for that image. So it will describe the image and you can use the description of this image as a prompt. So for example, here's what Mid Journey has made for us. So it has made four different prompts. And for you to turn this into a, an actual image, you can simply click one, two, three, or four. We're just going to go for one. Click submit. And now you just have to wait for it to generate the image. All right, and as you can see, it's completely done. Now it won't get it perfect all of the time. I think the second one is fine, but um, all, uh, all of those three has uh, those kind of weird text on it, but that's fine. You can just crop the, the second one to remove the text. Just click U2 and you will get the second image. Now, the second bonus that I have for you is to actually use Midjourney's Explore Future. So if you go onto midjourney.com and you click the Explore tab, you should see this page. So what you can do is you're going to go in the top right corner, click on search prompts, and you're going to type mug mockup. And as you can see, you will see a lot of different mug mockups that you can use. Now, of course, we don't want to use the exact same ones. So what you're literally just going to do, you're going to choose one that you like, for example, this one, and you will see here on the right, you will see the, the prompt that the person used to create this image. So yeah, you can simply copy it, slash imagine, and then you can paste it and here you go. And here you go. You have something very similar and you haven't done any research on the prompt at all. Now for the third bonus of the video is the prompt generator that we actually made just for you. What this does is it makes it super easy to make infinite amount of prompts and it makes it more detailed than what we just did. So let me show you around. So this is the Excel sheet. And you will see all of the different options to customize the mug mockup. So you can choose mug type, inside color, exterior color. So you can get really, really detailed handle placement. So much options just for you. You don't even have to type anything. You have options for the size. You have all of those different environments and you can even add a custom ones if you want. Season theme, you have all of, all of those different options. You have design requirements, image quality, interior settings, photographic style, and they just, we just give you basically the options just for you. So you don't have to type anything. It's super easy. Just change the option, whichever option that you want. And you even have an option for the aspect ratio. If you want to make it more square like this, or if you want to make it vertical, you can even add a human element to it, which you can customize, of course, but we also give you a lot of different options. So it's just right here for you. You can just click it and just does everything for you. So let's try it together. Let's take a look at the first one. Two friends, chatting over coffee, both holding mugs. This is going to be the mug prompt, the mug mug of prompt. For the image quality, I will choose 8K and everything else is totally fine. Simply copy it, go into mid journey slash imagine, and it just does it for you. You don't have to do anything. Just select it, click the options, paste it into mid journey, and you will just see the results straight away within 30 seconds. All right. And as you can see, it generated the results for us. And it's so much more detailed because you can really go detailed into the color, into the type of mug and everything. So this, those are great results. Again, if you want to have access to these sheets, we have put the link. It's the top link in the description 
for sure go check it out. Now, if you would like to implement a design on this, we actually show you how you can literally put any design of your choice on those actual mug. So let's say you would like to put a logo on this first one. Well, we basically explain everything on another video that we've created. It is the second link in the description. Go check it out. We show you exactly how to implement any design that you want onto this mug. Any, any mock-up that you want using Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let us know in the comments down below if you have any questions and we will reply to you as fast as possible. Thank you.